only time it's brought up is when those two do. So the only people that are at fault right now for that man's passing being brought up is Don Stakes and Abe. You keep bringing up his name, Don Stakes and Abe, his name's going to continue to be put out there. No one else talks about it until you guys do. So how about don't fucking talk about the man and let him rest in peace. You're grown men. You can fight over all kinds of other things. Leave the man that passed away alone and let him rest in peace. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Tina wouldn't even bring up his name if it wasn't for those guys bringing up his name. Fucking unreal. Aaron, you're unmuted. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> my I have to get my phone like above 20% battery life. Oh, and apparently Abe also did a two-hour space saying that I sent nudes to him and ruined lasagna for him. His beginning monologue was insulting you. Okay, Abe, you know what? Here we go. All right, you know what, you guys? I'm going to be honest with you. Abe did flirt with me, okay? He did flirt with me big time, all right? Um, he made me feel very uncomfortable as a woman. There was times where he would message me all through the night. Lasagna. And I, I'm, I'm going to tell the truth now. I swear to God. And you know what? If you guys don't believe it's the truth, I'll do it again in the morning. Abe sent me multiple messages every freaking night. And it was the same thing that Blondie, not Blondie Lee, but the other blondie that sent the big black cock Steven's out. Bl Steven's blondie. Yeah. Um, every time I wouldn't answer him right away, he'd get mad at me. And it was constantly just like her. You there, you there, you there. What are you doing? I'm sleeping, dumb fuck. That's why I didn't answer you. All right. And I'll be honest with you guys a thousand percent. I swear to God, I swear on my kids. I swear on my grandchildren. I'm not lying. He creeped me out. And that's why I did not answer his DMs in the middle of the night. Because I thought to myself, this is really uncomfortable. You know, he's like always wanting my presence around him. I always thought he was a pervert. He is a pervert. I do feel sorry for his wife. And I hope she divorces him before it's too late. But it probably already is because what I found out, I didn't even know. She's 10 years older than him. So she's already in her 70s. Uh, she's having to work to take care of him. He has not worked in like 15 years. Sitting around here on spaces flirting with women, talking about people, putting down people. So uh, be, be careful with that guy and uh, do not get in DMs with him because uh, he's a pervert. Swear to God he is. I'm not lying. And Abe, keep, yeah, it, it, don't talk about my legs anymore, all right? Because you creep me out with that as well. Um, I know you got really turned on when, you know, you heard about me, you know, 
being a groupie and going around the rock bands and this and that, you thought, oh, God, here she is, you know. that This is the woman of my dreams. No, Abe. Number one, you're too short. You're too skinny. I don't like men who don't have their own teeth, okay? I was never interested in you. I was never attracted to you. And I'm sorry. I am sorry, Abe, that uh, you had to embarrass yourself in front of me so many times flirting with me. Now, keep it up, bitch. And I swear to God, you guys, that's the truth. He's a pervert. And unfortunately, I still believe that KK never raped uh, Ruby Slippers, but I do believe that the emotional affair between Ruby Slippers and Abe happened because if I was as dumb and idiotic as Ruby Slippers, I can see where that went, but I'm not. And I didn't respond to his messages in the middle of the night. So there you go. Abe, you're a pervert. Grow up. Get off the internet. Go fuck your wife. There you go. I don't get the lasagna connection. I'm just um, saying. Well, he's trying. He's trying to say that I sent him nudes, which I never did. And if I did, Abe, show the proof. Never did. And you know, lasagna is like compared to a nasty vagina. That's what they say. Um. So you know what? Small dick. Keep keep telling your lies, because I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to get the recording of that space. And I'm going to sue you. I'm going to sue you and your wife. You forget the family I come from of judges. You forget that my ex-husband is a lawyer. Keep fucking with me and I will own your house in Arizona or what? Las Vegas. I will own your fucking house. You keep playing with me. I'm going to send the, that, that space to your wife saying that you were getting nudes from another woman. You already fucked up once with your wife with Ruby slippers when you had to admit to your wife that you were having an affair with a fucking lying freaking drunk online. Okay. You want to fuck with me, Abe? I'm going to own your house, and I guarantee you, you will end up divorced. Keep it up. You better retract what you said. Or I will have my ex-husband come and get you for everything you fucking own. There you go. Where's Don not at a time like this? I would love to tell him everything that's going on right now, just to piss Abe off even more. Keep fucking with me, Abe. You keep lying about me. You lie about Lynn saying she's a drug addict. You know what? You're psycho, freaking schizophrenic, whatever it is, mushroomed out, whatever you're doing, drugs. Whatever's going on in your mind, dude, you're getting yourself in a lot of trouble. Your wife is not going to be happy when she finds out how much time and effort you put in to other women online. Keep it up, bitch. I was nice. But now I'm going to tell the truth about me. Like your little buddy says, you lie about me, I'll tell the truth about you. I have tried to cover your ass. Now it's over. Now it's over, you freaking old pervert. You're a disgusting old pervert.
somebody sent me that space that he did about me. You just fucked up, babe. I'm going to end. I'm calling my 